Uh, it's just a very special day, and I'd like to thank everybody uh, at Hofstra for making this possible, and obviously, you know, my seniors here and, uh, and Shante Evans for everyone's four years, especially the kind of way it played out today. So, I just a special thanks, um, you know, to that. I would be remiss if I didn't talk about that, how we made this all happen today, and uh, it was, was very nice, very special, very overwhelming. Uh, for I guess we'll go right down the line. Just what was it? Uh, what was it like playing you know, your final home game on senior day? Um, it was pretty exciting, but I was so anxious. I've been waiting for this game a long time, and um, I'm glad we could all play well today. It was really exciting. Um, I just can't believe it's here, actually. You know, for like I just came here to college. You know, you know it was a very exciting game. You know, we had a a great speech with the the team before we came in. This is this is the game we need to get back on track. Oh my god, I was so exciting. Um, <laughs> before the game, we were a little emotional. Like, I love playing, um, but I'm glad that we had a good game, especially us three. I feel like the team really, really played for us. It was just it was a lot of fun. Coach, could you have drawn it up any better with the way those three played? Uh, no. No, it's funny. That's one of my assistants said that to me as we were walking out. And, uh, and, you know, you talk about your heart needed it, you wanted it for these guys, you know how hard um, we have been playing and, you know, it, we're in a world the way the world is and, you know, they've had great careers and I've been talking all week that this doesn't define you, we're going to win the next game and then we have a chance in the tournament. So I'm just proud of them listening to that because, you know, you, 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 I wanted it so bad for them. I know how bad they have wanted it all year long. So um, it, couldn't have, you know, it couldn't have been written out any better than that. Shante, when did you find out your number was going to get retired, and what was uh, how'd you how'd you feel when you saw you know the number thirty being unveiled up there? Um, I actually looked up in practice and I seen the <laughs> the black thing cover, <laughs> so it was like no longer a secret. But um, Don't tell Mr. Adler that. No, he's not always oh. here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that was a uh, a really a great feeling, you know. Uh, you know, I broke down after they unveiled it, you know. Just like all the emotions, all the four years, all the hard work, you know, all the things I've done to even get to this point. Shante, you weren't able to break the school's rebounding or points record at home. What did it mean to break the conference rebounding record at home? <laughs> uh, it felt good. Um, coming into this game, um, I wanted to actually put a dent in it. I didn't think I would get 19 today. But, you know, I had my teammates, you know, tell me just keep rebounding, keep rebounding, keep rebounding. And then I was like two left with like a minute left, I think. It was like, go rebound. <laughs> 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 so, no, it feels great, though. Uh, Devin, 9 of 11 shooting, uh, including a pretty nice fadeaway along the baseline. Just uh, how do you think you played today? Um, pretty well. My teammates gave me the ball in good position. Dre had, I don't know, like seven assists to me. Like, they put me in great places so I was able to. Coach, could you just talk about the first impression you had of each of these three players and then how you see them now today? Um, I'll keep this one short, right? You know, a little long -winded. Uh, you, know it's, it's, uh, you talk about from the beginning, right? You about when the I very first, first time you saw you. Know, yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, Candace Bond was this amazing athlete on the floor. Me and Coach Santos were sitting in the gym and we we're trying to tell everybody that, uh, you know, that she's already committed to Hofstra now. We, we, say <laughs> we were just, you know, we were trying to play down people didn't see her and, uh, you know, just. What I didn't know about her, though, I knew how athletic was she was. I knew just how domineering she was. The they called her Spider on the defensive end. They called her Spider. And um, but then when you meet her family, you met her for the first time when you got her to campus. And just the love and the compassion and just that part of her is just amazing. You want to be around. They've been the most consistent family, um, you know, all your all her whole four years, and it really shows in the kind of person she is. So. You know, we, you all see the defensive stuff, you see all that great stuff. You just, the kind of person she is, is, um, is really nice to go to work every day and have to come on the court with all three of them. I think that's probably where, you know, I feel so much in my heart. It kind of, you know, goes to the next person, which was Shante Evans, who we had uh, gone to a high school uh, practice, but then I saw her obviously play as well at B. Reed Anderson, and then um, I followed her. Probably didn't miss a game her whole summer. Um, probably both summers going in, didn't miss a game. Was every single game, spent like two weeks in Orlando. Um, I was done with Mickey, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but uh, I, you know I, I always talk about what she was like hands and feet, and I never you know even just her size or height, it was just the way she could run. You know people if you if you ever just saw her standing there and then you see her on the floor, you know I'd always talk about she could catch anything that came near her, and so that that stuff you know obviously physically, you know then you meet this person who is the most unselfish person who's a team player that you know you don't usually get these kind of people that have this kind of talent and then just want to share the wealth. So, um, 
you know, and, and you knew I knew that she could obviously be a blue chipper in our league. You know that she would would be able to you do great things if she wanted it, and that's the fun part. You can see how she is. This was her goal. This is what she wanted. She was motivated, and so that that part is really exciting. And Devin is funny. Coach Farr um, was up at Monroe Committee where we were. You know, we needed some help inside, and he said, "You got to come watch this kid. You got to come watch this kid." And you know, so we go up there and watch her. And she had like 20 some points that game. We were watching you play at a ASA or something over there. And, and uh, you know, then again, you go and get her on campus and. You know, uh, the words I was using to describe Bondi, kind and compassionate and caring and just really doesn't get too bad in shape about anything. So you, you take that type of character, that, that's, you know, that's what makes you stay together when the chips are down and when you're struggling because you got good people in your program. And, you know, these are three great ones up here on, on this uh, podium today. And you're going to be deeply missed, but yes, for what you guys see on the stat sheet, but what you don't see in every other element um, of, of the court. So that that's what's going to carry them through life. And uh, I think that sometimes is definitely understated, and uh, that was, what's what needs to be stated today is that's going to carry them very far, the kind of people they are. Shante, you got emotional once the banner was unveiled, but what it seemed it didn't wasn't hard for you to make the switch from <laughs> being emotional to game time once once uh, the game started. Was it hard? Um, no. As a tip off, you know, I had to you know, put my game face on, you know, get back to business. But um, that was one of like one of my best moments probably ever. Forever, remember. But um, no, I know how important this game is, and now we gotta win our next game to get to 500. So, you know, game is more important than that. <laughs> Coach, and, oh, Candace, uh, you only had four blocks today, but they were emphatic <laughs> blocks, <laughs> if anything. Uh, so, what was going through your head? Uh, just the intensity and seeing your teammates. Uh, was that just because of the day, or is that because of the? The way the season's going. The funny thing is, before the game, in the locker room, um, they're like, "Yo, Bonnie, if you get a block, you got to go crazy." <laughs> so I got the first block, and I was like, "Oh, I'm going crazy!" I was like, "Yo, another one." And after that, I was just going for it. <laughs> I didn't have any fouls, so I was like, "Yo, going for it." Really excited. <laughs> I shot that since you played 38 minutes. I was like, "That's the first time yeah. that would have been that." Uh, Coach, you pretty much set to play Northeastern in the first round of the tournament. So, yep. what's your mindset heading into Wednesday? Oh. <laughs> such, a, such a revenge factor for us going up to that gym. I don't, I don't really. I mean, I, 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 I yeah, that gym is just, uh, it's just one of those places, you know. Yeah, it is, and and it's like we just have to pretend like we are at home. We have to be swinging out there, and we just got to go and just take care of business, and then get on that bus and head back. Because it's just it's just that it's just that place, you know. And we've won in those places. At Wilmington is one of those places, um, you know. And, and there's there's several of those in our league, and this is one of those. So it's just on to this next thing and just crying it out. Doesn't matter how it happens. Doesn't matter who's playing. Whatever we need to throw at them, and and we just need to take care of business on, on the road. On the road, it's, we can win on the road. We're capable. We have a, a great group, and we just got to get our mind right. You know, um, today today our mind was right. So that's that's how we need to play. Coach Andrea Thomas, nine assists, two turnovers. So, would you like to see that uh, throughout the rest of the season? Yeah, that would be really nice. I mean, you know, I mean that, you know, maybe I should have showed this highlight film from this game like about a month ago too, because we, it looked like when we were showing the clips, you know, as we we're preparing for Wilmington, that we had it in fast forward, because you guys weren't there at the game. It was at Wilmington. And that was like one of our best tempo games, and um, you know, I think it helps when they, when they do get to see themselves on the film a lot. But that, you know, I think that kind of like stuck in their mind. So we just got to keep that tempo. It was kind of hard too when they were walking the ball up. We were trying to pick up a little bit just to kind of keep the, the deadness out of the gym. But if we can play with that kind of tempo like she did today, and, and just I was, you know, I was real proud of her. We made some long outlets, and you know, we we were trying to control the tempo.